On June 16, 1976, a student protest turned into one of the bloodiest uprisings in South African history. While the world knows about the demonstrations and subsequent violence that took place that day in Soweto, not many people are aware of the extent of the atrocities that occurred. On that day, thousands of black students gathered to peacefully protest against the government's decision to force all schools to teach in Afrikaans, a language synonymous with the oppressive apartheid regime. The protest quickly turned violent when police opened fire on the unarmed students, killing hundreds of them. The police also attacked protesters with tear gas and batons, leading to thousands of casualties. What people often overlook is the fact that the violence in Soweto did not end on June 16. In the days and weeks following the incident, police forces launched a brutal crackdown on anyone suspected of participating in the protests. Thousands of black South Africans were arrested, beaten, and tortured during this time. In fact, the violence sparked by the Soweto uprising continued for months afterward, and historians believe that as many as 700 young South Africans lost their lives as a result. The atrocities committed by the police in the aftermath of the protests were largely ignored or downplayed by the government and the media at the time, but they are now recognized as a dark chapter in South African history.